<laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome everybody to the traditional uh, Sunday service at Christ Fellowship with Pastor Carrie Miller. And, uh, well, the, the songs that are on the board, they're correct, and they're the ones we're going to be doing. We're going to start off with 132, uh, which is an old favorite. There's Power in the Blood. Amen. So. Wonderful words of life. 
in the end of the gospel call, wonderful words of mine. Offer pardon and peace to all, wonderful words of mine. Jesus, only Savior, sanctify forever. Beautiful words, wonderful words, wonderful words of mine. Wonderful words of life. Amen. And now we're going to have prayer requests. And uh, so, anybody have a prayer request for Todd? We're going to pray for Todd for sure. Standing, standing prayer. Well, yeah. He has a blown eardrum. Which one? David with two children and a wife. Um, and he sold his house. The prayer is that God will guide him to where he should be going, whether it's Tennessee. I'm praying for New York. But they're kind of, they don't have a house or anything yet in Tennessee. They just sold theirs. What about Miami? No, he's, he's a police officer. And he's... We need know, police officers down here. 23 years, 22, 23 years, and he's ready to be Miami. So he needs guidance. He, okay. I really think Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, Manny. I want to uh, praise and a prayer request. I praise that my uh, Marisol came back today from California, Patriots, and uh, praying for a, the father of a former bandmate, uh, a guy from Wayside Church named Herb Evelyn Sr. He's, uh, um, he's gravely ill. He's on dialysis. And uh, we don't know how much longer he'll be with us, so just keep him in prayer. Okay. <coughs> yes, Doris. Craig has a court date Tuesday, and he has to find a way to get there because it's in a different city. So we're just praying that somehow the Lord provides him transportation. Okay. He said, Dad, I'm going to get there if I have to call. Jeff. Uh, I guess I have two prayers. One of them is that I pray for um, for John, that he uh, finds... John Glenn. Some, John Glenn, that he finds some peace and that he gets settled and things uh, work out a little bit for him. And uh, also, um, I guess it's a praise... For a person that I know on Facebook named Bobby, who's very involved with addiction treatment, and she had a fair amount of success. She was fighting up in Washington about this new epidemic about opioids and just addiction in general, and she made a, a lot of uh, progress, or so she says, and so um, she's fighting a good fight, and she's got a real powerful influence, so it's kind of cool. So anyway, that's it. Yes? My nephew, he's kind of What's his name? His name is Paul. Does he live down here? No, he's back home. Where's that? Uh, Elmira, New York, upstate. And, uh, yeah. Kind of, you know, the parents are, my sister suspects it. Okay. Great. Anything? How old is Paul? He is uh, 40. Owen, yeah. Uh, let my dad have clarity of mind because he has uh, dementia. What's his name? Rick. Anybody we're on prayer request? Anybody else? Friends and family. Friends and family. Well, I'll have to cover that. Okay, I'm going to uh, prayers for, well, we already have John Glenn, but for Fred's not here, prayers, prayers for Fred. Dwayne, go ahead. David who? Heck. Is that David I know? Our David? Yeah. Well, that, I guess you might know him. Well, I don't know. Does he have 
dinner with us or is he? Uh, no. Oh, Silver no, that's here. That's not Dave. I know him. Okay. Jeff, Jeff knows him. I know him. He's got a long time. He's a nice guy. A long time clean. I know who he is. Okay. Anybody else? Pray for all the people that could be and should be here tonight. Right. Oh, pray for uh, pray for my, my friend Ed in getting strength to help his dad, uh, Ed, Eddie Pauly Sr. He needs all, he, all the prayer he can get for that. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. And I'm going to, well, I'll add in some prayers for, the, for Fred, and who's not here. I hope he's well. And for people that aren't here, we hope they're doing well, and, and uh, we're praying for them. And travel mercies for those people who are traveling. And uh, I want to pray also for my wife, who got a couple of flat tires and is out on the road. Jeez. I was staying with her until I had to come here, and I have somebody else staying with her now. Well, now, that's exactly what happened to me fr Friday. Right. You know, but well, I, it must be an epidemic. I told her, honey, I love you. And I'm going to send somebody here, but i got to get over to church to pass the care in. Is that okay? Well, aren't you That's committed? Not a sin, is it? Amen. Are you forgiving? Okay. All right. You had two, too, Carrie? You had two flat tires also? No, I had one. Oh. She has two. Yeah, they sent somebody she by. She, has, she had two. two. Okay. Oh. And I'm, I'm traveling to Ohio on the 13th. I'll be there for four days and I'll be uh, participating. I've been privileged to participate in their uh, convention right. up there. So I'll be speaking on Sunday morning. I'm the Sunday morning speaker. So I pray that the Holy Spirit. He always shows up, but I hope this is a conference. Yeah, but I want to make sure that he's he's present in the California shows up because Amen. I don't want to have to handle this thing. Because if I show up, it's not going to be a good thing. You know, I won't do so well without the Holy Spirit. So, you know, that's the deal. So, in any event, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, Lord, we we have so many prayers. First of all, Todd for his salvation, for his turning back to you to help straighten out his life. and uh, He's got a, an ear problem, his eardrum has been blown, and, and we want, of course, healing for that, but more important is that his heart get healed, uh, even more important than any health situation. David, we, 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 he moved into, he's moved in now, he's a police officer, he's looking for work, he's got a wife and two children, uh, police officer for 23 years, we hope that whatever position he gets, he's safe, but also please give him guidance and wisdom to know exactly where to go and open up a position for him. Uh, Marisol, we're praying for her. She, we're praising that she came back and, and uh, her chip worked out well. We're praying for Herb, who is uh, undergoing dialysis and is ill. Craig, uh, he has a court date. We're, we're, we're praying that that court date does fan goes fantastic for Craig. He's really trying hard and that he continues to, to work on his problems, addictions, and everything like that, and that he's able to get transportation. Pray for yeah. John Glenn. John, who is really, you know, he loves you, Lord. You know he loves you. You know him very well. And it looks like that John's going to be going to the palace, and which is a wonderful place in Homestead, and we're praying that he's going to be okay, and he's going to be lifted up. Pray for Paul, who is possibly undergoing an addiction, and that he gets help for that addiction. And we pray that he actually realizes that he has an addiction, because that's the first step. Uh, and getting out of jail, knowing you're in jail in the first place, knowing that you have an addiction. And we pray that, you know, you open up his eyes, that he realizes he needs help, and then he, he asks for help. And uh, because it's hard to get help for people who don't want help and don't think they need help. Mm -hmm. We pray for Rick, uh, Owen's father, who has problems with possible dementia, and that his mind is cleared, and whatever medication they give him works on him. Pray for Owen and his ability to be patient with him, be able to work with him. Pray for housing for David. And uh, we also pray for, for Ed, you know, and he's, uh, you know, Ed, Ed, Ed Sr., Paul uh, Sr., um, he's, uh, he's getting older and he's going through whatever, you know, the same thing that John's going through and as far as he needs help. And Ed Jr., his son who was trying to help him, pray for him so that he has patience and the ability and tolerance to help him. Uh, Lord, we pray for all the, the pastors in the world that are caring and, disciples who are trying to carry the gospel message and uh, but especially uh, uh, the pastors we have so many fantastic pastors and churches in this area in the South Florida area and we pray for those churches and that you continue to lift them up and, and they continue to, to grow and that there'd be great growth and we pray for revival really in our community in the United States pray for our president pray for the Congress yes. Supreme Court pray for the servicemen 
that are out there, you know, facing danger. Pray for this world situation. You know, Fred talks about the world situation, but I mean with, with Korea, it seems so intractable. It seems like a Korea and Iran, it seems like the only, the only way that this thing can be fixed up is through Jesus Christ, through, through, through a miracle, really a miracle. So we pray for that. We ask for all your pray, these prayers, and we lift up all these prayers, and we beseech you in your blessed Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And uh, we're going to have, uh, the next hymn is, uh, let me see, 227. So that's, uh, praise him, praise him, and then we're going to have our collection right after that. Okay.
Okay, uh, we're going to do uh, 334, and then we're going to do the collection. And then last him, and then uh, Pastor Kerry will be preaching. By the way, I'm also putting up a prayer for Tom, who's suffering from an addiction. He's a friend of mine. And uh, I wanted to pray for him, and I forgot about that. So. Okay, uh, 334. You all know this one. Blessed Assurance. message to those people still suffering who still don't know you. Let the monies be magnified so that they're used so so well that they just, uh, no, no matter how much is collected, it, it touches thousands of people. We ask this and pray for this in your blessed son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. is 520. Oh, that will be glory. Glory for me. Glory for me. Glory for you. Yeah. That will be glory.
exceptional week, I'm sure, for all of us in many ways. 